What if there was a machine that could make anything you could think of right on your desk? A MakerBot is this magical device that turns ideas into objects. Bree Pettis is one of the inventors. All right, here we go. A thin line of heated plastic is forced through a narrow tube that shapes it into whatever you want. More layers of plastic are added until the object is finished. Objects run from the practical, like interlocking gears or a working whistle, it toots. to the playful, like a foosball player or a transformer. The MakerBot is really a new way of thinking in terms of, you know, how do we get, you know, how do we get things? Here's how it works. Say you have a bottle, but no bottle opener. You go onto the internet and find a 3D design of a bottle opener. You feed that design into the MakerBot, and in about 15 minutes, you have a bottle opener. I think the first thought I had was just like, oh my god, that's awesome. Winter Guerra goes to school near MakerBot's Brooklyn headquarters. At 15, he's already designing items for the MakerBot. I think it's a great educational tool, and I think it's a reasonable price, so I think more and more schools will, will bring it in. MakerBot's price is one of the things that sets it apart from other 3D printers. Most of them cost tens of thousands of dollars, but you can get a MakerBot for less than a thousand because it comes in a kit that you put together yourself. I really believe that, uh, you know, like I said, we'll all have one of these in our home at some point. And we'll Professor Evan Korth bought one of the first MakerBots. After a visit to their headquarters, he compared them to one of the world's most successful companies. I really got the sense that I was stepping back in time to maybe 1940 in Hewlett Packard in the Valley. MakerBot says they've sold more than 1,400 units in just over a year, with orders coming in faster than they can be shipped out. It's really just down to your imagination, how far you can go with it. Judging by the hundreds and hundreds of items created so far, it may only be the beginning of what the MakerBot can do. John Bentley, CBS News, New York.